some of it did have to do with church harmonies, but um, that didn't come down to us. I mean, where ours came from, I don't know. We, we don't know. I mean, we've always sung like that, and we didn't hear any traditional singers singing in harmony until after we'd actually started singing traditional music. Simply liking the song or not? We don't arrange them. We sing just like right. a song and sing it the way we we would have always sung together. We big thing is finding oh, the key actually. Once the key, <laughs> is, it's true. Once mm -hmm. you was, we take a song around a lot, and the key is usually established by these two. You know, uh, then when it having established that, it starts to sound right because he and I struggle around and try and find something to do. I mean, it's, uh, it's a pretty ramshackle, it's, rehearsals are a pretty ramshackle affair. If you um, can't reach the tune, you sing a harmony. Yeah, if you can't reach the tune, you sing a harmony. Um, so, to, to that extent, it's arranged, but um, not, it's pretty not, loose. Nothing, you know, there's nothing it's, down on paper or nothing, you know, nobody says, oh, you should sing that note and you should sing that note. It's the same on the piano. There's though. nothing, it's a, nothing, that nothing like that. It's a feel for the music as much as anything. <clears throat> we very often will have one voice, two voices, then three voices, then four voices, the build-up. Because you can feel every verse, there is a strong build towards the last line or to the chorus. I was silly, was so throughout all this town. Our carpet is white and our rain it is brown. And our world's hell is grey, of the good and true. Some nutmeg and ginger is the best we can brew. Fall the dough, 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 sing to the light of. Our silk is made on the elderberry bough, and so my good neighbours we shall drink unto. Besides all on earth, we have apples in store. So please let us in for it, go by the door. Fall the doll, fall the dolly doll, fall the dolly doll, fall the dolly dee. Fall the darrow, fall the daddy, sing to the light door. Apple trees prosper and bear So we can have cider When we call next year And it's where you one barrel We hope you'll have ten So we can have cider When we call again For the doll, for the dolly doll For the dolly doll, for the dolly dee It is very important to revive these songs to maintain what was being lost. But then, again, you say, lo and behold, you can go out with a tape recorder and still find people uh, singing it, ordinary working people. The revival is a very peculiar name because the revival has gone on with a, a, a good living tradition still under there of musicians and dancers and singers. And they would have been there all the time whether the revival was there or not. The sad thing with that is people learn from us, not from traditional, not from singers. traditional singers. 
they're, they get their tradition second hand. What's happening is that country music is becoming adapted to a commercial city life and while not spoiling it, trying to maintain its integrity, the responsibility is on us to, to make sure that we don't actually sing all the country idyls all the time. That's the easy way out. You know, they're wearing their smocks and they're chewing their pieces of corn <clears throat> and lying around blowing their horns while the sheep frolic in the meadow. And we know that it wasn't like that. It was bloody awful and it was cold and it was wet. Shepherds are the cleverest lads that have trod England's ground. They will call all us some days about and value not one crown. They will call for them with so much pride and so much feeling uh, that is to me as, as much a part of uh, the music uh, as you know the revival itself they, they put the heart and soul into those songs and it, it's a good feel to a song you know what I mean it's a pride in where you come from it's a, a community thing an identity and I think very much <coughs> in a lot of ways you're seeking an identity and that you find that identity within a music and you try to strengthen that. I have learnt basically everything I know from listening. Uh, it's the, probably the only way I can learn. Some people can do it academically. You know, I'm, I'm not one of those people. I will listen to a traditional singer, get his feeling, get his conviction, uh, his style, his, his pride in his song, and that, that will be transmitted to me through watching and listening. And uh, it, it, it basically, it rubs off. Yeah? It, it just rubs off on you, and it's smashing. 
if it gives me goosebumps, you know, for goosebumps, if I, I, I look at the words and think, oh, that line, you know, there's a wonderful line or a wonderful verse in it, and um, I want to sing it. You know, we very often sing songs that we don't necessarily believe in, in the sentiment of, like a haunting song, but they're such fine songs, uh, they shouldn't be ignored. For instance, you know, we just made a, an LP of all hymns, uh, but we're not religious people. We made it because they're damn good songs. They're the old church songs, not the Methodist <laughs> hymns, not the ancient and modern. They're hymns that most people have forgotten about. They have to be rooted out, uh, a lot of them from traditional singers. Lift up your heart, Emmanuel's friends, and taste the pleasant of Jesus' friends. Let nothing cause you to delay, but hasten in, in the good old way, for I have a sweet hope of glory in this home. Have a sweet hope of glory in this home, for I know I am. Still I have a sweet hope of glory in my soul. Our conflict, dear the great baby, shall not prevent our victory if we but strive and watch and pray like soldiers in, in the good old way. For I have a sweet hope of glory in the song. I have a sweet hope of glory in the song. For I know I am. Wonderful. I have a sweet hope of glory in my song. Ye valiant souls for heaven content remember. Glory is at the end. Our God will all tears away when we have run the good old way. For I have a sweet hope of glory in this song. Have a sweet hope of glory in this song. For I know I am. Feel I have a sweet hope of glory in my soul. Though Satan may song to me is like a piece of, uh, of nice old furniture that somebody's looked after and used with, um, you know, with heart and with care. And, it, and you can feel it. It's, it's like uh, old houses or houses that have been happy houses. They have a soul. They have something about them. And you can feel that. It gives me pleasure singing the songs. And if, if us singing those songs to, to other people gives them pleasure too. Um, the world's a happier it, place. That's for enough it. for me. That's enough for me. Without all the, without all the academic, you know, things that go on with it. I mean, for me, it's just the pleasure of it.
tomorrow, the good old way spotlights the music inspired. Lift up the arm, Artimanius, friends, and taste the pleasure Jesus sends. Let nothing cause you to delay, but hasten in, in the good old way, for I have a sweet cup of glory. Answer me, kind sir, I fear I must leave you, for there goes the sound of a factory bell. But I have fine houses adorned all with ivory. It was mainly through the C&D movement I got involved and I started singing sort of protest songs, Bob Dylan, Joan Byers, as well as C&D songs. But the important development for me was when I heard on the Folkways records at the time, traditional music, people like Margaret Barry, Elizabeth Cronin, Bridget Tunney. And this was a total revelation to hear this style of singing, which excited me and made me know that this was the style of singing I wanted to pursue. It's love and temptation are our ruination to marry. I've always sung, and within Ireland and Scotland, you grow up knowing lots of songs which you're not aware that are folk songs. They're just part of a big um, melting pot of songs that you hear around you. But I didn't become involved singing folk clubs until about 1968. That was really the start. Working factory girl. And at that time I was singing songs like The Wee Cooper of Fife, Mary Hamilton. I didn't know how to sing them. I mean, I sang them out of the top of my head. A superficial way of singing. And it wasn't really until I realised that there was this vast, vast tradition that I really wanted to know more about. That was the big turning point. Where the trout and salmon flow, with my line and true delight I do. What first inspired me to do this was Rita and Sarah Kane from Galway who sing together and before that Maggie and Sarah Chambers who I'd heard on an early record singing together and of course the, the Stewart family at the um, University Club we had the Stewarts down um, that was Belle and her daughters Sheila and Cathy On the Fernwell Garthel is his name and he'll drink every pint you'll give him but he will pay for me and this whole idea of the sound, um, all of them sing mainly in unison, of course, the sound of two women's voices together with slight discrepancies, which causes sort of beats and you know, sort of false notes, which are very exciting, I find. A singer called Lucy Stewart influenced me a great, great deal. Um, something like nearly 300 songs were recorded off her. It's interesting working with Alison here that when we work on a song, Alison coming from the Scottish tradition, myself mainly from the Irish tradition, we will decorate in different ways, in different places, almost unconsciously to enhance certain words or melodic points. Two pretty boys, they were playing at a ball In the evening coming
It's as if they're vehicles. The songs are lying there waiting for people to pick them up and they teach you things if you can let yourself be taught. This is your ancestry, you know, this is your heritage. Meet people, listen to them singing, the Stuarts, all of these people. These songs, just the very phrases, are putting you right in touch with other people's experience. And that experience is your experience, so it's, it's our experience, you know. He took off his white linen shirt and he tore it from go to go. He'd wrap it round his wounds so deep, but the blood come ten times more. But the blood come ten times more. on the wireless a tape recording of Jesse Murray singing Skip and Barfoot Through the Heather and that did it for me because I then heard the way to sing and uh, I just listened and I just absorbed As I was walking down yon hill Twas on a summer's evening Oh! 
yar offers gold, but will a canyon deceive me? Or can I give my hair to Better though I'd never seen ye. And oh, but she was neatly dressed. She needed neither heart nor feather. She was the queen among them all. Skipping barfoot through yon themes which were expressed in the songs bring out this great identification in me. I mean, you choose a song because it means something to you. And most of my songs are women's songs, not all of them. Um, often they do present the woman as a victim, which I can see, uh, you know, the women's movement might criticise. A lot of early songs I learnt naturally came to me as something I, I shared the feeling of suffering in. Uh, but I don't feel I want to drop those songs because they're not positive in terms of women's development because women did suffer and women still do suffer and I think while oppression and repression is still with us then it's relevant to sing about it and important to sing about it as well as of course uh, presenting the positive side. How pleasant in winter to sit by the hob listening to the bark and the howls of the dog or in summer to wonder the white van is through and to pluck the wild flowers in the May morning dew Summer is coming, oh, summer is here. With the leaves all so green and the sky bright and clear. And the birds, they are singing their loved ones to woo. And the flowers. 